What's up, you wonderful people? Wondrous Lantern here, back with another video. This time it's going to be a gaming video, and I am going to be playing the game Palia. This is in beta form, I believe, and I have not got very far. Unfortunately, I tried to do another recording where I created this character that you're seeing on the screen right now to make him look like me. And unfortunately, as I was going through that process, the video itself, I don't know what happened. I think it got corrupted and um, it just was not having a good playback. So I decided, okay, I'm just going to re-record. I'm going to make a new video. I didn't get very far. I did the beginning area um, and then I met village and then I just started building my campsite. Now, if you are interested in the character creation, I am probably going to be making another video, a more in-depth character creation video on how I made this character and how I can make any type of character. If you're interested in stuff like that, uh, I would definitely suggest you waiting for me to upload that. But anyway, without further ado, let's jump back into my Palia game. All right, now that we loaded in. So the last time, last thing I did, I cleared some of this stuff out. I put down my tent. Ooh, I'm gonna see if the, this. There was a visual bug that happened, and it was where like the mountain was clipping. Oh, I guess there's still up there, but it was like clipping through and hitting the ground right here. I guess they removed that, which is cool because that was a very big. Influence. So last thing, I, yeah, I built my workbench. I got a chest here, and I built a tent. I tried to clear out as much of this area as I could. And then this person came up, and then I shut down the recording, hoping that I was going to be able to upload it. Let me talk to her. Ani? How's it going? Oh, him. Sorry. Hey. So what's really cool about this game that I've noticed is that you have icons in the dialogue box that are that on the top of the dialogue box that look like they're... It's like favor. Uh, how much they like you. So if I hover over this handshake icon, it will say, Ani seems enthusiastic about getting to know you. So what's I like that aspect where NPCs have a relationship with you and you can build relationships with them. That's pretty cool. I don't know what these are. I don't think I've seen these before. I'm pretty sure it's like gifts and maybe buying and selling stuff. I could be wrong, but let's continue. Ayla. Another human in town. Here you are. Okay, so that's another thing you guys might want to know for those who are new to Palia. I don't know much of the lore, is but it, the basic beginning of the game started out with this purple-skinned, pointed-eared girl, like archaeologist or something, in a cave or some ruins with a, like a robot sidekick, and then all of a sudden your character appears out of nowhere in front of this like dragon statue. And it's this big deal because you're human, and apparently you're not the only human in this world called Palia. I'm also, by the way, saying this world in completely wrong. I don't know how to say Palia. It could be Palia, uh, Palia. I don't know. I'm going to say Palia. That's just how it seems to me. Anyway. So you're essentially humans. There's like some humans that have come to Palia, and no one knows why from what I can gather. So it's kind of cool to see how this story unfolds. That's what they die of far family farm welcome. Kill him. Okay. And I wanted you to have your mail. I'm Ani and I handle all the deliveries around here. Okay, so Ani is the mailman. Gotcha. Twice every day twice a day every day. Rain or shine six the morning six in the morning and six at night. So I think it's safe to say my job is about to get a lot more interesting. Do you like getting mail? You look like something someone who oh and if you can't tell for some reason my ability to read well deteriorated in my late 20s so there's that you look like someone who would like getting mail there's another part of the game that i don't understand this uh they have these icons next to your dialogue options so as you can see there's this one that has fire and then on the second one it's like this mountain or stone it's almost like ele like elemental stuff um, almost like Avatar, you know, you, uh, you have this yellow icon, I believe it's like wind, and then you have a blue one, which is like water, and then you have like a water icon. 
I don't know what they do. I don't know how that correlates. It might have to do with relationships and how you talk to people or how you develop your character, maybe even ties into both, but we'll see. Let's see. Uh, I really don't like getting mail in real life, but I guess... I mean, in this game, it should be important, so I'll just say I'll look uh -huh. it. Okay. Let's see. Come on, go check out the mail delivery ever. So I got plus one milk and quest updated. Welcome to Palia. I gotta run. Mom's calling. All right, buddy. Have a good one. I don't know what this is. This might be like... Oh, salesman. Oh, that is so cool. So you have like a salesman. So coin purse running flat. Place items in the salesman and they'll be sold. Dude, okay, so there's a mod like this. There's mods like this in Skyrim and in Fallout that I've played uh, where you can have a sales toolbox or whatever and you put items in it and then... It, in increments in uh, daily, those items get sold, and then you can come back and get go, uh, your currency for it. That is a really cool mechanic. I'm glad they have it built into this game. Items are picked up for sale each morning and evening. You will get paid when you return home. That's cool. And sales been out of, out on the town. Shops will buy the same sort of items as they sell as long as it's business hours. Zeki's general store deals in the widest variety of things. Okay. So I don't have, I don't really think I have anything of to sell, because it says you're out of 400. I, I guess I could probably try and put some stuff here, but I don't know what's what right in the game yet. Games like this have heavy crafting built into them. I'm always one of those crafters who does not like getting rid of anything. I know that's probably a bad trait, but I just like holding on to stuff because you never know when you're going to need it. So, And I, since I'm new to this game, I really don't know what I'm going to need and what I'm not going to need for right now, so... Let's see. Check your mail and pick up any item deliveries. Uh, is it mailbox? Okay. New red. Einar. Dear Ari. I have... Oh, and I, my, my character's nickname is Ari. Even though my name is Eridus, it's Ari. The nickname. I have been informed by Gen Gina that you have emerged fully formed from the swirling mist. This is wonderful news. Happy day of misbirthing to you, new human. Other humans call me Einar... And I would like to share with you the joy of fishing. Yes! Please, please take this rod into your possession and seek me out at your nearest convenience. I shall be located at the pier for the next few millennia. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Uh, I love fishing in, in games, especially if they do a good mechanic. And a game like this, you know, you've got your... Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Wow, I can't believe it. Animal Crossing. So you got your Animal Crossings. You've got... Um, I played another one called... Hokey, Hokey Life, Hoko Life, something like that. Um, any games like this, if you don't have crafty, uh, a crafting system or a fishing system or anything, you're missing out. Because those are like bare-bone necessities for games like this. Like these casual, relaxing games. So, I'm going to claim the... I don't know how to, how to claim... Okay, so you can click down here instead of just claim all. Because I didn't know if claim all is going to claim all these, but I just got... I want to read all of them before I uh, claim all. Oh, okay, so I think it's claim all for the, uh, what's in the mailbox, in the letter, which is cool. Looks like I'm going to get a bow, 20 makeshift arrows, and the recipe to make makeshift arrows. That's nice. To whom it may concern, City Hall requires I send these letters to new residents. You will find a bow and set of arrows in the attached package. City Hall also requires me to tell you that I am available to tutor you. Tut there goes my terrible reading again. Available to tutor you in their use. During work hours, you can find me in Kilima Village. This is not an invitation to waste my time. I am busy. Hassian. Okay, Hassian. Okay, man. All right, I'm not going to waste your time. All right. Let's get those letters. And Ashura. Dear Ari, looks like you've been improving your foraging skills. Why don't you stop by the inn later? I'll teach you how to build a sawmill that can put your supplies to use. Okay, Ashura. Ashura is like... Um, one of the guys who you meet in the village first, who apparently he welcomes all the humans and is trying to help the humans out uh, get accommodated with the world or the village. So that's pretty cool of him. Oh, and another thing, when it says you improved your foraging skills, that's a, that's one cool part of this game that I've noticed, that you can level up skills. Like, I all I was doing was chopping down trees and gathering uh, stones and flint or whatever it's called and it gave me foraging skill upgrade 
which is cool. Ammo pouch. You've received some arrows. These, along with smoke bombs and worms, are kept in a separate ammo pouch and take up a backpack space. Let's take a look at your, our ammo pouch now by pressing I. Open your inventory. Okay. All right, let's see. Ammo pouch. Now that you... Now... Jeez. Now just click on the arrow icon above your items to view the ammo pouch. Arrow icon above your items. Okay. Is it this? I'm assuming it's this. I could be wrong. Now just click on the arrow icon above your items. Wait a bit. Is it this? This is it. That's now. Yeah, it is. Okay. So this is the ammo pouch. As you collect more ammo and upgrades your tools, you might fight find yourself needing more space you can upgrade your ammo pouch by visiting zeki in the village center and purchasing more space yeah so that's a, that it's cool like i'm starting to read into a lot of these things that you can do in the game you can upgrade your stuff even more you can upgrade your inventory space and who knows what else um, don't know what to do let's go back return to ani it's a good day to be so exploring. how are you settling in this plot's huge. I heard you can find some pretty cool stuff in the dirt. My dad found an old copper arrowhead in our yard last week, but all I ever seemed to find are rocks. Well, I found these strange art. This strange artifact does a weird glowing tube count. Um, I think yeah, I would say that. Oh, oh wow, it definitely counts. Have you figured out what it does? Not yet. Uh. Hmm, I bet Gina might know. She's always hanging out in ruins. You should see if she's around. She's found something like this before. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. In all of the excitement, I brought a present for you too. A Bug Scout's official belt. <gasps> and a set of smoke bombs too. Man, you're Ani, you're too good for me, man. You're too good to me. You give me Bug Scout's official belt and smoke bombs. I'm a member of Kilima's best and only bug catching club. I gotta run now. But if you stop by later, I'll give you some tips on how to use them, okay? But I bet you're hungry right now. You should talk to my dad, Badru, to learn how to grow food. And Breath, who works at the end, can teach you how to cook. Yes! There's cooking too. I love it. One makeshift belt. Ani got... Oh, he, uh, got, I got more approval from him, it looks like. I, I, the number didn't go up, but it did say two over here. So maybe this, this number right here is the uh, overall grade. And that just gave me more bonuses in like a, a bar kind of thing. I, I don't know. That might be how it is. You know, everyone's waiting to meet you. Come on, I'll race, race you out. Okay, Bye -bye. buddy. You want to race me? Leave your house. Okay. Oh, and by the way, it seems like this game is an MMO. Because when I left the tutorial area or the beginning area after your uh, mist birthing, as I guess that's what it's called, the there was a player, another player just roaming around. So just something to consider. Good friends, good. Give a villager some chocolates. Maybe love will... Oh, so you can... Love on some villagers, huh? Um, oh my gosh. Every time I see this, the quote, uh, looking for love, I think of Rush, the band, because there's a, there's a lyric in one of their songs and it goes, looking for love for an angel. To yeah. It's All right. So yeah, see, that's another player. Welcome from the developer. We're so happy to welcome you to Palio. We started Singularity 6 in order to create new worlds that deepen players' lives, and we hope Palio lives up to that for you. As a new startup studio, we're so excited that you found your way to Palio. I'm glad too. I can't live without players like you giving it a chance. If you like what we're trying to create and want to support Palio further, the biggest thing you could possibly do is simply tell friends and family about Palia. It would mean the world to us. We really hope you enjoy exploring what Palia has to offer. Welcome home, the Singularity 16. Understood. Yeah, so that's a that's the thing is 
I wouldn't have known about this game except for it was like a handful of YouTubers that I like to watch, and uh, they were playing these. The, the they were playing Palia. I had no idea what it was. I am not gonna lie. I didn't watch those videos. I just they just popped up on my feed, and I was like, oh, seems interesting. And I just never gave it a chance. But now that I have uh, my gaming PC or my gaming laptop, I can give it a chance. Using the map, the world of Palia is filled with exciting quests and characters to discover. Open your map with M to see for yourself. Okay. Navigating the map. The map contains information about active quests and allows you to locate NPCs. Press the middle mouse button on a location or NPC portrait to place a marker of your own and it will show up on the map and in game compass. That is cool. Alright, let's see. Pin quests. You can, you can change which quests you have pinned by accessing the quest menu. The quest menu is represented by the X menu. Yep. And then yeah, so yeah, you can like pin your quests that you want to do. Let's see. I completed these. So Collapse that. Uh, I'm gonna pin both of these actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if it's a yellow, it means it's already pinned. If you click it again. It's unpinning it, but yeah, I'm going to keep them pinned for right now. Let's see what my news has. Gift for you. Hello, Ari. We've sent you a gift. Please find it and close. Thanks for playing Palia the Sacred Clarity 16. Okay. And that, and then a gift for you. Okay, yeah, so I've been getting some gifts from the Singularity 16. That's pretty cool. All right, so it looks like one of the villagers is sleeping, and it looks like Ashura is not, so I'm just going to speak to Ashura. I think I'm really going to fall in love with this game as far as a casual game goes because I do like games like how, I know Majora's Mask is a ca uh, casual game, but games like Majora's Mask or Legend of Zelda is a very famous one for having time, like time of day is very important, and I feel like this game is going to have that kind of thing, you know, so there he is, there's Ashura, the, the, the innkeeper himself. Or innkeeper? Is he an innkeeper? I, I can't Take remember. a load off. I know starting out in a new place can be tough, but you've been doing a great job. I thought I'd help you out. I've got a couple of recipes for purchase that might take your, make your life a little easier. You'll probably want to get a salmon the first thing to turn it. Some of that wood into planks, okay? Uh -huh. Don't cut any fingers off. Oh, geez, I will try not to. So it looks like it is 100 uh, palio coins, I think that's what they're called. I do not have enough, so it looks like I am going to have to find a way to uh, acquire more Italians. Don't cut it. I get the sense we both have our air type personalities. Spending time with you is quite relaxing. Okay, so air type personality, gotcha. So that's the first time I've ever heard any type of type personalities in this. Those earth and fire types are always moving too fast for taste. I like to stop and smell the flowers sometimes. You know. Nice. So I already got approval. From you. Yeah, of course, Take man. Care. Oh, wait. I want to see what that, uh, what these are. Forging guild store, filling item requests, and giving gifts. Does this guy have a... Forging guild store. Okay, so he's a store owner, so I can just... So instead of having to go back and open the store menu with, I think it's what it said G. Here, I'll show you. So if I hover over and it says G, open store. If I just How accidentally I press help? chat, I can just access the store with that. That's pretty cool. What does he want? When I go out fishing, I'm always hoping for a ch channel fish, channel fish or whatever. That's cool. So you can learn what the NPCs want or they request or what they like. And then I guess if I get a Chanel fish for Ashura, I can gift it to him and I can improve my relationship rating with him. Fried catfish is one of my favorite meals. Okay, so I guess also if I give him fried catfish, it might help. Um, where am I going? Let's see. Ask Gina about the strange artifact. So Gina is over here. I don't think she's in that building. She's somewhere over here. I think, I think so. Let me, uh, make sure. I'm... Is this Gina? It is Gina. Wow, that is, this is a, 
Big village. Oh, what? What was that? Okay. You know what? Instead of going to find Gina, I am going to go by this lake, this pond area, and I am going to try to fish. Looks like there's some fish jumping around in here. Let's go to my... Let's see, do I... Oh, that's right. R, I believe, holds up. Yeah, I, I can access it. Fishing. Holding down left mouse button to aim your cast. Release left mouse button to cast. Wait for a big bite before you see a large splash. The fish will nibble three times. On the fourth, press and hold the left mouse button to start reeling it. Control the brackets by moving the mouse left and right. Only reel in when the fish is inside the brackets. Okay. When the fish is outside the brackets, it will damage your rod health. Only hold left mouse button when the brackets are gone. Gotcha. Okay. and terrariums. You've caught a star quality item. Star quality bugs and fish can be placed in your own terrariums and aquariums. Select the item from the action bar and press left mouse button to place. That is cool. That's This fishing mechanic actually is not that bad. It's actually pretty cool. Action bar is full scroll to the action bar. I cannot see that. I wonder if there's going to be any bites if it's not... Oh! There are. I like that fishing mechanic. This is actually really fun. It's not, I mean, a lot of people can complain about the fishing mechanics in some of these games, saying, oh, it's either too realistic and it's boring, or it's not realistic enough, and this and that. Now, me personally, I, when games get too realistic with the fishing, can I fished in real life? Trust me. It's, it's, it's fun. It's, but when you're playing a casual game, sometimes you don't want the real, true experience of fishing of the whole, I'm sitting on a boat for 30 minutes, you know, waiting for a bite, you know, because you're, you're just, technically, you're just sitting in real life and you're trying to experience more in a virtual realm than just, oh, I could just be out there doing the exact fishing, the real fishing. Nothing against Palia saying, it's, oh, it's unrealistic fishing. It's a fun fishing system. That is fun. I'm probably going to really enjoy that. Let's see. Oh. I wonder, can I... Dazing insects. Okay, press and hold to start aiming. Arc your shot to intercept the insect. Practice good timing. Okay. When an insect is hit by a smoke bomb, it will attempt to break away. If you f they fail, they become dazed and can be picked up off the ground. Okay. Rare bugs have a higher chance to escape. Overwhelm them with additional catch attempts. You can keep trying as they flee. Increase your skills to unlock new types of smoke bombs and more powerful belts that increase your chance to daze an insect. All right, so it's cool. It's kind of like a, its own type of catch system, I guess. Kind of like in Pokemon, stuff like that. Ooh. Oh, okay. So, center mouse button, the scroll button, I guess, the scroll wheel. If I go up or down, it actually changes the hot bar stuff. That's cool. Let's see. Uh, I wonder what all I have. Hunting, so I can hunt this thing right here. Equip the bow and hold down the left mouse button to draw an arrow. Remember to arc the arrow to hit the farther targets. Creatures will flee if you miss or are unable to fell them in a single hit. Chasing creatures is an integral part of hunting. 
At higher hunting levels, you will be able to choose from more powerful arrows. Press left, or sorry, right mouse button to open the ammo bag. Click your preferred ammo to select it, select it and continue hunting. Hunt huntable creatures drop valuable materials for crafting. All players that help bring down game receive loot. Okay, so I wonder, can I, can I crouch? I, I thought there was a crouch button. Let me uh, see. There's got to be a, uh, a crouch button, right? Mode? Okay, that's straight mode. So, the fishing cast speed, I don't know what that means. If it sets me if the speed of me throwing, or the... I, I don't know what that is, so I just left that default. I'm trying to... Um, there's got to be a... Oh, is it over here? Key bindings. There we go. Action bar. General gameplay. Sprint jump guide. Tool wheel. Emo wheel. Select item right. Auto run. Okay, it's forward slash walk. Alright, I don't see anything about uh, placement mode. Okay. Well, anyway, this does it about for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see more content like this. I'm going to be trying to upload uh, more gameplay videos like this. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, stay weird.